Okay, viewers, this is the uh, Edward uh, 148 scale uh, limited edition MiG 21 BIS around the world. Uh, don't really know what the BIS bit stands for, but uh, it's your, I guess it's your uh, standard Edward 148 MiG 21. Uh, it's just got some, some different schemes and a few bits and pieces with it. Looks to be a very nice kit though. <clears throat> this is one of a one of a batch I bought um, a couple of weeks ago. I haven't, I haven't really got around to looking at it in too much detail until today, but just thought we'd do a quick uh, inbox review of it, see what we think of the kit, and uh, let's take a look. So on the box itself, looks very nice. Um, and some some clue on the side as to the various schemes that you've got. I don't know if you can see all those, but so we've got a uh, Polish variant, we've got uh, uh, a Soviet variant from Afghan Afghanistan in 1980, uh, we've got an Iraqi Air Force from uh, Al Hurya Air Base in 90, we've got a Cuban variant from uh, San Antonio Los Banos in 1990, uh, we have a Croatian variant from uh, 2016 which is uh, interesting looking. Um, we've also got a uh, 2011 variant from the Free Libyan Air Force in Tobruk and then we've also got one from uh, Hungary 1992 from the uh, second fighter squadron at Tazar Air Force Base in Hungary. Uh, there's also a, uh, that, that's an unusual looking scheme, looks like it's got, uh, it looks almost like a Formula One car, it's, it's yellow with the uh, the camel cigarette logo on it that's a bit strange okay i'd be interested to see what that one's all about um, a bit more detail on the box much more so it says on the side here uh edward plastic parts cartograph decals for seven markings edward brass in wheels and antenna photo etch details and painting masks it's about par for the course for what you'd expect for a uh, a limited edition kit from Edward. I mean, even their standard kit's pretty good. So, uh, okay, let's have a look in the box. If I can get in the box, that is. Okay. And the first thing up, we'll come back to the booklet in a minute. So, we have some. Some photo etch. So some pre-painted photo etch. We've got some consoles, um, some displays, seat belts, ejection handles. Um, if you can see that, get a decent view of that. There we go. Looks nice, and we've got some metallic pieces on the side. Uh, I think it looks like part of the uh, exhaust, maybe. I'm not sure what all those are for. And we've got a little bit more um, here. Again, I'm not quite sure what those are. Very, very small. It's going to be very difficult to deal deal with. Um, but nice nonetheless. We have some masks. Uh, looks like we've got cockpit and wheel masks. That's great. And we have a nice big decal sheet. Let's see if we can... Uh, Take that out without damaging the packaging. Okay, so that is a clearly a very busy decal sheet, but then that's what you're going to expect if you've got uh, seven different schemes in the kit. Obviously, you're not going to use them all. So this will be one probably be going into the uh, into the decal stash after we're done because there'll be some some extras left over. All look very nice, very good quality as you'd expect from, from Cartograph. Um, very very nice decal sheet indeed. Awful lot of stencils. An awful awful lot of stencils. <laughs> Um, but hey, uh, you can never have too much detail, right? 
whether I use all those, I'm not sure. So let's put that to one side. So we've got the uh, brass in parts for the resin wheels. Nicely detailed. Very nice. And let's take a look at the booklet that comes with it. So as you'd expect with the with any Edward kit these days, um, very nice, good quality book, very high quality glossy paper. Um, open it up. So we've got the parts list, um, all the sprue details, um, and then assembly instructions as per expected. Very nice quality, all very clear, very well drawn. Um, it's also got an extensive list of the various colours. Um, it's got colours here for um, the guns, guns kits and mission models. Uh, it doesn't have any Tamiya, which is disappointing for me. I tend to stick to Tamiya paints. But, um, I can forgive them that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the uh, on the build instructions. But as you can see, lots of detail, very nicely made, very very good quality. Yeah. Excellent, excellent kit. So on to the schemes. So the first one is the Croatian one from December 2016. Uh, this one is various shades of grey with some black and some silver, some steel, a little bit of light brown. Um, interesting one. It looks like some sort of a uh, anniversary scheme. Um, it's got the 25 on the tail fin. So. That's one that will definitely be under consideration, I think. Uh, and the next scheme is uh, a Soviet screen scheme from Afghanistan in 1980. So I guess this is uh, around about the time of the Afghan conflict. Um, it's pretty much your standard um, green and brown camo. Okay, here's the one I really like, which is the. Uh, the second fighter squadron from Tsar Air Force Base in Hungary in 1992. Um, this is a special paint scheme created by the technicians at the Air Force Base following on the heels of the White Tail 1874 aircraft in the previous year's air show circuit. So it looks like this is a display aircraft. Um, but uh, it's very nice looking and it's not often you get to make a completely uh, yellow aeroplane. So again, I might I might consider that one. Um, I, I may well actually get myself another another kit, another um, Edward Mig Twenty One, and and if if I don't do that particular scheme on this one, I may well keep the decals and the scheme and do it on a on, a, on a, another uh, Mig Twenty One kit because it's very nice. And <clears throat> this one here is the. Uh, Free Libyan Air Force in Libya from 2011. Again, nice camo scheme, uh, tricolor scheme. We have a nice looking Polish scheme. I'm not going to try and pronounce the place where it's from, that's beyond my capabilities, but it's from uh, June 2000. A um, little bit of tiger stripe on the tail fin there, a, a, shark, a shark mouth as well. Um, set of eyes on it as well. It's an interesting scheme. Um, quite some, quite some, quite some colours on that. We've got brown, mahogany, light yellow, red, bright green. Um, you would definitely be cracking out the uh, at the paint at the paint kits on that one. And then this one here on the right is the Iraqi Air Force from uh, Al Huraya Air Force Base in ninety in Iraq. Um, Again, it is a uh, sort of sand and green camo pattern, but it's a bit of an unusual design. It's sort of symmetrical. 
nice thing. I'm quite partial to this one as well, I must admit. Um, don't get to build many Cuban aircraft, and uh, I quite like the uh, the contrast of that dark blue against the green. I've done a few Spitfires that, that are not not quite the same, not quite the same color, but you know a a, a medium blue against green on a Spitfire, um, and I like that. So I think uh, that one's a definite contender for how I'll do this kit. Um, yeah, that's got some interesting colors. It's got light blue, bright green, light brown, blue, green, red, chrome, dark iron, steel. But yes, there's some nice schemes in there. Some really nice schemes. Okay, so then we've got some stencil positions for uh, the pylons. Uh, stencil positions for the weaponry as well. Um, not going to pretend that I know what most of those weapons are. I'm going to be honest; they all look like uh, air-to-air -air missiles of some sort to me. Although we got some, got some uh, ground attack missiles here as well. Some free-fall bombs, external tanks, and then a list of all the uh, stencil positions as well. So yeah, I. Uh, I really like this kit. Very, very nice kit. Let's just take a look at what we've got in the bags. Now, I'm not going to take all these out of this out of, out of the bags just because there's uh, there's a lot of them, and I may it may be some time before I build this kit. And um, it is just the standard um, Edward. Mid twenty bomb plastic is nothing um, sort of. I mean, it's a very nice kit. Don't get me wrong; it's not uh, nothing wrong with the kit at all. But it, it isn't. Uh, it's not anything particularly special. So if you're true, if you're particularly interested in the uh, in the contents of the sprues, I'm sure that there's a few other videos you can find on on here with the um, with the Edward Mid twenty one because there's there's quite a few variants of the kit. In fact, I did one myself uh, recently as well. So, um, but high level commentary would be it's a very nice looking kit. Plastic is all very crisply and cleanly molded. Um, it's Edward's own plastic, so I suspect it will build together very nicely. Um, I don't see any particular problems that I can anticipate looking at the at the sprues themselves. I don't see any any flash or any badly molded areas. Um, very quick view, but I don't see any crazy injector pin locations or you know anything to get really upset about. Um, here. So we've got uh, clear cockpit details here. So we've got two or three um, panels for the instrument panels in the cockpit. We've got uh, what looks to be three rear sections to the canopy and two front sections to the canopy I don't really see any differences between them so I don't know why we've got so many ver ver uh, canopy details but um, again same thing holds true it looks very nice seems to be pretty good quality um, very optimistic so yeah there we go uh, thanks very much for watching guys that is the <coughs> um, Edward 148 scale MiG-21 BIS around the world. Um, if you have any questions or anything that I can uh, do as a follow-up to the video, please let me know. Give me a shout. Um, more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, again, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your feedback on any of my videos. Um, I've been a little bit, a little bit, a little bit reserved in posting it the last few weeks, but uh, hopefully um, work is easing off a bit at the moment, so I might get some more time to spend um, making a few more videos. But uh, that's it for this evening. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening, and uh, I'll catch you again on the next video.